Hey fam, welcome to Jack to Jeep. So today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about what we've done for the last few years here on Jack to Jeep. We're also gonna be talking a little bit about what's to come for 2021. And most importantly, we're gonna be talking a little bit about Easter Jeep Safari. Stay tuned. Now we're not doing any of these. I'm not gonna explain any of these in which order we're doing them in. If you zoom in, you could probably see some dates planned out. But basically, I just want you guys to understand that beyond my two years ago, my trip, and last year's 2020 trip, you can tell I'm gonna be doing a lot more traveling this year. What about the trails? As you can tell by the purple star, will there be another trip with the Rubicon to North Carolina? Maybe. What about the trails? Perhaps a family trip down to Texas. What about the trails? Take the Rubicon up to the Bighorns up by Jackson, Wyoming. Hit a couple trails up there. What about the trails? We're also going to take it to Tucson, Arizona. So for the CJ7 on June 24th through the 27th, I'm going to be in South Dakota at Rockfest. We're also going to go for October 4th through October 10th to Trail Hero in Sand Hollow. I'm also going to be making a special trip to Vail, Colorado. We're going to test out Holy Cross. Two Jeeps, twice the fun. What about the trails? So let's talk a little bit about Moab, Utah. February 27th to March 4th, Easter Jeep Safari. What about the trails? Registration for the 2021 Easter Jeep Safari opens at 10 a.m. on February 23rd. It also will open early for club members on February 19th at 10 a.m. We're gonna hop on over to the laptop and I'm gonna show you guys how you can become a member. And that way we can also check out what trails we're offering and what I might just sign up for. Let's check it out. Hey, welcome to the office. So today we're gonna to be actually working on the laptop a little bit more. I'm gonna show you guys how to register for Easter Jeep Safari. Now, before I do that, I do have a notebook right here. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take some notes on what trails I wanna register for. And the reason why is when that registration opens, I don't wanna waste any time trying to shuffle through all the, the different trails that may be offered and everything else. I wanna have my list in front of me, what days I wanna do them and exactly what order um, and hopefully get them. But um, a little bit of organization will actually help you when it comes time to register. Now, another quick point here is uh, with the registration, again, I gave you two different dates. The um, first date is actually open to members only, and that's what I have here is a card. I'm going to show you how you can actually get that card. Um, it's your choice. You don't have to, but it does give me um, early access to register. Now, before we get to the laptop, again, please click subscribe. Hit the bell. That way you can be notified of any new content. Let's get started on the laptop. All right, guys, so before we get started on all this, I would definitely encourage you guys to check out my Instagram page at jacked underscore two underscore Jeep right there. You're also going to want to go over and check it out on Facebook at jacked to Jeep. Now, while you're in jacked to Jeep, what you're going to want to do is type in Red Rock Four Wheelers. You guys are going to actually want to go and click on their thing here. I can send them messages. I have all sorts of stuff here. But this is their Facebook page. Pretty nice. It gives you great information, great details on what's coming up, events, cancellations, all sorts of stuff like that. Now, what you're also going to want to do is go over here to their web page and click on that, to which I already have open. But it's the same one as us. As you can see, there's two of them. Boom, boom. All right. What you want to do is, first and foremost, we want to check out 
because we already have the dates for Easter Jeep Safari. We already know. Here's those dates. February 16th, trail official registration. February 19th, club member registration. And February 23rd, general registration. So because I have that card I held up a little bit ago, um, I actually have access as a club member to register. Now, to do that and to become a member, um, it's not too difficult. Actually, you can do it in here. Now, I already have it logged. I have to log in here. But uh, here's my information. My email, let you know. So you're going to want to register your vehicle. I registered my Rubicon because that's what I'm actually taking to Easter Jeep Safari this year. I'm going to eventually add my other one in there, but I'm not taking it this year. You can also ma um, manage your profile. There are different things here. Now the trails, what they do is they actually, um, let's go to ratings. All right. So they rate their trails on a 1 through 10 scale, with 10 being the most difficult. And each trail, as most of you may know, comes with a requirement. So, you know, 1 and 2 is basic, 2-wheel drive and 4-wheel drive. Number um, Level 2, you can read there, 4-wheel drive required. Um, rating 3, 4-wheel drive is definitely required, but with 33-inch tires are a plus. Not required, but a plus. Um, rating four, we're getting up a little bit more. We have four-wheel drive and 33 tires required. Required, not preferred, required. 35 tires, inch tires are a plus. So that's where we're getting a little bigger. Keep moving down. Rating five, better ground clearance, um, lockers, limited slip. Number six for rating. Steps not to exceed 36 inches on um, four-wheel drive, 35-inch plus tires. Seven is 37s, front and rear, right there, front and rear lockers. That's huge. And then eight is just a little climb up and some experience and a winch is desirable. So that's kind of my comfort level right there. I'm going to be going, depends if my wife is with me or not. I'm looking at trails between level well, 8 and below, but um, if my wife and my daughter is with me, they're not much up for the heavy stuff. I may go with you know, something a little less, maybe a 5 or a 6. But in the meantime, those are the ratings. It's important for you to follow those because you do not want to be put yourself, putting yourself in a compromising situation out on the trail being stuck now you can look here eight is where i'm going to be stopping at now nine um, front and rear lockers 37s um, 40s are definitely a plus i don't have those on my rubicon i was going to transfer over and put some 37s on there but i'm not going to be doing that right now because i'm actually driving my jeep to moab this year instead of trailering it so i do have to be careful Make sure I don't get too much damage so I can drive it back home without being stranded in Moab. My, my wife would definitely be upset about that. All right, guys. So now that we know kind of what ratings we are looking at for Easter Jeep Safari, we need to now find out what trails they're offering. Now, I'm not sure exactly what trails they're going to be offering and how it's going to work, but we can make a list, and that's why I have my notepad and we're going to go through these and look at them. So you're going to want to make your way over here to the trails icon. Click on it. Hit the RR4W. Let me show you that again. RR4W trails. Click on that. It's going to open up all the trails. The listing of the trails. Sorry, that was my phone. On here, you're going to see all the different trails. Now, there's not a lot of eights that I've looked through. Besides Cliffhanger and maybe a couple others. But I'm going to scroll down a little bit here and show you one that I do know and I've been on. And it's probably one of my most favorite trails in Moab or anywhere, and it's Poison Spider. So Poison Spider Mesa, rating 6. Poison Spider, where eagles dare. What's the difference? Well, it explains it to you right here. It says we're, it's an extra loop where eagles dare. It gives you a little bit more, a little bit more extreme, so that's why. Now, you can also get more information on it as you are preparing yourself to register. What you do is you come down here and it tells you a little bit about the scenery, the surface, the trail details, some nice little pictures. We'll look at them real quick here. Just kind of what you're looking at. But it also gives you some nice information right in this little 
segment here. The length, the overall, is 36 miles. 21 of it is off the highway, so 21 miles off-road. So you do want to make sure you have some gas in there. Minimum tire size. It says it right here, guys. There's no excuse. 35 plus inches. Winch, not required, but it does help. Front lockers and rear lockers, yes. So there's no excuse for you to be getting in over your head. You know what's expected. Let's go back to it. We're going to look at cliffhanger. I'm just kind of curious on what it says here because this is one I am going to be looking at. Come over here, quick notes on it, length, 20 miles, round trip, I love round trip, 12 off pavement. So, not much, but that's all right. Minimum tire size, 35 and a half inches, winch is not required, but we do need front and rear lockers. Nice little picture here, a little bit of a cliff. Gotta love that, my wife will hate it, so I probably will not take her on it. Um, let's look at these pictures. Gorgeous, I can't wait. All right, guys, we're back on the home page. What you're going to want to do, if you're looking to get a membership into the Red Rock Four Wheelers Club through Moab, Utah, you're going to want to come over here to the shop. Click the shop icon and come down here, associate member, gold membership, um, members only store. Yep, right there, $50, boom. All right, guys. So for 50 bucks, you get this card. It gives you opportunity while you're in Moab, you can get the logo for the Red Rock Four Wheelers ironed onto your shirts that you purchase. It gives you some more directions on how to do that in the newsletter they send you. They also send you, a, again, a newsletter that gives you all sorts of new information about Moab, about what's going on, some of the different stuff that they're, you know, because it is a membership into their club. But it also gives you the opportunity to register early for Easter, Easter Jeep Safaris, and that to me was worth the 50 bucks. Now, again, I do greatly appreciate each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. Please, if you haven't, do so. Also, click the bell. That way you can be notified of any new content that I'm putting out. If this helped you in any way at all, please give me a quick thumbs up. That way uh, it just helps me a little bit, and I like the thumbs up. In the meantime, leave it better than you found it. My name's Steve. Thank you again for watching. You can call me stupid Yes, you can call me sheep You can say I